you got to get shots up no matter what. A couple of empty possessions here. Here's Reese Beekman. Sticks a three. The sophomore UMass transfer, who's been excellent recently. Beekman off the hesitation, left the runner short. And Kowasi Reeves gets out and runs and lays it in. Georgia Tech's on the board. I want to get out of the building. I don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> Kapari off the bounce. He's been excellent recently, and he slipped it to Dongo. Clogging up the lane with his limp. He's matched up on Buchanan. Shot clock winding down. Beekman got by Kelly and got it to go. Second bucket for Reese Beekman. I, he's put this team on his back. I, I, they would just be so lost without him. Dongo in the short roll. You love what he can do in that spot. With great hands and good feet, and he's a really good passer. So catching and shooting that floater or skipping it to the weak side three. Georgia Tech is sagging way off of Ryan Dunn, so he attacks, spins, and scores. ACC regular season game of the year. Glad you're with us in Charlottesville. Very important, and Tony Bennett said just that to us earlier today at shoot-around. Dongo goes spinning on Ryan Dunn and scores, and those two had a fun and at times chippy matchup. Said, I don't need any help. I got him one-on-one -on -one and creates turnover. Groves stroking it from deep this year at 48 percent. Six foot nine, four man at his third school. Started as a walk on at Eastern Washington. Now senior night in Charlottesville. Gapari's been big for them recently. They have struggled when Reese Beekman's not in the game and how to create offense. Tough shot, Nate George. How about this kid in Midtown Atlanta this year as a rookie in this league playing for. Damon Stoudemire, jackets by two. Murray attacks and finishes with the right hand. Ebo Coleman was between he and the basket, got to his dominant hand and able to finish. Baseline cut, what a block from Ryan Dunn on Tafara Gapori. That was loud. Not many weak side shot blockers in the country better than this guy at his size. How about this block? Just get that out of here. You know, he comes in, his emergence to this team is important because he allows Rick Be Beekman to be off the ball and attack you from a different angle. Good shot fake from Tane Murray, and he buries the triple. Tane Murray and Groves and McNeely, his teammates are knocking down. 13 for 28 for the junior from New Zealand, who's got five for Virginia. And there's an answer from Kyle Sturdivant, the fifth-year senior, tightly played game January 20th. Virginia won it by nine, but Georgia Tech led by as many as 11 in the first half. Buchanan on the baseline. Late shot clock in the hands of McNeely. And now Beekman matched up with Kelly. Kick for Harris. Got blocked by Kapari. How about that? One thing you got to do, you got to take care of the basketball. You just got to get shots up. Beekman. Kansas. Second three for Reese Beekman. And it's been problematic early on for Damon Stoudemire's team. Murray attacking Murphy gets the roll. How about the boost Tane Murray's given with seven in this first half? See how he handles that, but right now they're leaving a one on one with Dunn. And Dago turned it over. It's his third turnover of the nine for Georgia Tech. And here's Dunn kicking it out. Extra pass. It's Groves. Hits a three. And he's got to get himself going, and he, this team needs him offensively. Beekman got a little space, and from the elbow sticks the jump shot. Here's Murphy. The transfer gave it up to George. Off the screen, the hesitation, the floater, and the follow for by Dungo. Beekman defended by Kelly, or Gapari rather. Beekman still with it. Muscles one up, and gets the roll. It's nearly unstoppable for him. He's getting in the paint, finishing, which we know he does well. And they, they don't have any other guy out there now that can create off the bounce. So when the shot clock gets low, they got to put the ball in his hand and tell him to go make a play. George answers with a baseline jump shot. His second bucket. We will go into what's going on at Cameron. Carolina, last look, leading that game. There's a game going on there? Yeah. You didn't know? McNeely for three. <laughs> Pick and roll. Minor on the reverse. Can't give up layups, threes, and the mid-range jump shots, and they're getting them all right now. Are you surprised no timeout yet? No. George pulls up, sticks it. I wanted to come to Georgia Tech to learn from Damon Stoudemire and this coaching staff. It's a 
just amazing what happens when you play with confidence. McNeely a deep one. Knocks it down! 20 more to go at JPJ as Isaac McNeely and the Cavaliers are rolling in the first half. They got a 14-point lead over Georgia Tech. Come off the screen, use it. You know they're going to hedge it. Get the pocket pass and get the ball inside. I think Dongo has to do a better job of getting low position like that so the defense can't help. Dongo got low position, quick spin baseline for easy deuce. Tane Murray starts the second half. Groves cans a triple. You got to switch that. The impact that you have. Uh, I, I like Bob Carrington early. I thought he ran away with it. I think he came back to the pack. Some of that, and it helped his team improve. Dongo up top from George, and a rookie connection right there. Don contested at the rim by Dongo. We still don't have an answer here. Started and dropping it out for George. He attacks and finishes, and Nate George has brought Georgia Tech back to single digits here the first three minutes of the second half. McNeely, too strong. Tipped out by Dunn to Beekman. Wide open Murray. Hits another. How about the night for Tane Murray? Didn't, you don't plan on that when you're scouting your team. You didn't expect Murray to come in. We know he's capable of it. And, and but you did expect away this. by Beekman with the flush. No turnovers and now three steals. And he just wears you down. And that's all I'm saying with George. I got to get some people uh, voting privileges revoked on that one. I, I think he's definitely one of the top five players in this league. I don't think that's an argument. McNeely straight on. Right now he's on the bike, moving slowly on the stationary bike, about halfway down the tunnel for the Cavaliers. A drop off for Miner against Dongo. He finishes. Coleman skipped it. Good catch. Dongo couldn't finish. Got his own miss and the follow. So active. Great hands, active. That middle ball screen is so difficult to defend when you got a big that can catch it and finish and pass like they do. McNeely in the mid-range. Last three games, they had knocked down 33 combined threes. Shot clock at five. McNeely, tough shot. Virginia entered tonight with an offense rating nationally at 191, according to Ken Palm, in offensive efficiency. There's Harris off the window. You see Harris here driving with the lay off the glass. Wahoos with the largest lead of the night. Up 20 here at home. They're up big. Shot clock winding down. It's a double on Dongo. Skips it out of the post. Start of it. Sinks a three. Flair, here's Beekman. Defended by Claude. Beekman. Off two feet, scores again, and he's got 17 on his senior now. Here's Murray. Spinning and hitting. It has been Teen Murray's night. He's got a dozen on the final day of the regular season. And how about the unexpected sources? Teen Murray delivering. No one his team took care of business tonight. George or taking care of business tonight. I think I think they're well in control of this game Coming back to 20 down against Virginia is it's a difficult challenge Beekman Why not with his third three and he's got 21 to match a career high Let's break it on senior night. Why not last game at home? Let's go for a career high Dongo the turnaround. He's got 21 as well. So you've said Reese Beekman is on your first team all ACC. He as better Dongo be on yours. Up. He's on mine as well. <laughs> Ballots are due tomorrow. He better be on yours. And him picking his moments. He's had all the accolades. They don't mean anything else to him. Hanging a banner in Carolina will be big for him. And his so first team all ACC isn't a big deal for him. In the regular season finale across the ACC. Harris. Reverse. You said it. Everyone's been involved for the Cavaliers. Public policy and the leadership for the six foot seven senior walk on who we're probably going to see at some point in the last 209. Third of it hits. You know, it's, it's something you just got to appreciate. Coleman follows up the Dongo miss and got fouled as well. I think the three coaches that. The ACC, the first year head coaches have all been home runs. I think Autry has been in, should be in the coach of the year conversation. Michael Shrewsbury, I think, is, is a stud. And here is how the senior walk on from Virginia Beach. Oh, it's a follow away. And look at the 
Maselli. Nothing gets a better reaction than the walk on scoring. And that's one thing I think we adjust, hope we adjust the metrics so we can get more moments like that. Great performance here by Virginia.